Okay, Osha Say running here with Adam Thibodeau, who is second place here at a meet against uh, St. Raphael Academy Wheeler and Moses Brown. Looks like 15 minutes for 2.95. But Adam, neck and neck with Devin Kipiego throughout this race. A very good race between you two guys. What was your plan coming in? Uh, honestly, came in just uh, wanted to give a good effort. I uh, I missed a workout Saturday, so um, Billy and Skelly gave me the green light. Just uh, put a good effort out there. I wanted to definitely. Um, score low for the team, just get the team win, because St. Ray's has a good, uh, good solid team this year. So we definitely wanted to win that so we can uh, get the division uh, title. Um, so yeah, I kind of just went out, wanted to put a good effort in, and uh, I wasn't on my game for the last race, so I just wanted to put a good effort out th uh, this race. Yeah, so, so when was he able to, to break from you? Uh, honestly, like right around the corner with like 200 to go with the race, he kind of just took it right there. Um, so Adam, I look at this year's state meet as wide open. There's really no clear-cut favorites. I think there's about six or seven of you guys that can win this thing. Um, what's your thoughts on, on, on the landscape this year for the state title, for the individual state title? Yeah, totally. There's uh, definitely a bunch of good guys. Um, there's a bunch of guys that were um, juniors last year, ran really fast in the 3K. A bunch of guys ran really fast in the uh, 15. I think this class is really strong. I think we're all tight group. I think we can run really fast this year. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see 15s, 20s on the clock at States, I think, and it's really anyone's race. So I think it'll be a really good uh, state meet. Yeah, so again, a good, very good race here today. Um, the injury fund, you said a little off on the injury fund. What was going on there? Uh, I really don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it that day. Um, I was, I had a hard week of uh, workouts um, that leading up to that race. So my legs were a little tired, but not really an excuse, just um, wasn't feeling it the day. wasn't my day. But you guys got some big meets coming up. You got the Highland Park Invitational. I know you're going to be out there in North Carolina at the Great American uh -huh. and I think Manhattan, right? Yeah. Um, so you got to be excited about bringing a team there which, where you guys are all going to probably get the green light in all those races, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're really looking forward to those big races. We want to show what we can do. Um, the rankings came out and we uh, we weren't in the top five, so we're uh, looking to show everyone what we can do. And I think uh, we have a pretty strong team. Everyone's been working hard. Um, I'm excited with, uh, to see what we can do. So where were you guys in the rankings? Uh, we weren't even, for the Northeast, we weren't even in the top five. So they, they didn't even rank us. So um, we're, we're fine being the underdogs. We just got to show people what we got to do, and we got our work cut out for us this year. Do you guys look at that as like billboard material? Yeah, for, it's for just adding, um, adding fuel to the fire. We're, we're ready to go, and we're excited. Because I know last year you had a team that was probably top three in, in the country. Yeah. And then they yeah. never had the national. So huh. my guess is you guys are out there to, to really prove something this year. Yes, we are. Well, Adam, congratulations today. Good luck Thank with you, your team, you and the team the rest of the year. Thank you.